Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good option play. The fullback got about six yards there. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. to that quickly and that was a really well played series by the defense they get this one off and it's a beauty he's taken down at the 24 Notre Dame's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game seven. That'll make it second and four. They make the stop at the 41-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Brought down at about the 49. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 31. First down. From the 31-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, watch number five. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. And a big hit, he stopped in his tracks. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. the 16-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. He's in trouble. Where well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. They'll line it up for the field goal. Notre Dame is looking to go up by three. And the field goal is good. Looks 
like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Notre Dame's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. It's just out of the ball, is up for grabs. And the offense will recover. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 34-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Notre Dame has a three-point lead. Runs outside for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Has some daylight. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's a deal for him. First down. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's got it with room to run. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That brings him second and five. He fights forward to about the 29. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Notre Dame leads it 3 0. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Tackles him hard at the 29. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Notre Dame holds a field goal lead. He gets it up, and he got it. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. And he's taken down with the 26-yard line. around 
the 22-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Third down and 13. Ball on the 22. Going deep. And it's intercepted. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Got a man. Watch out here. And he hits him hard at the 36-yard line. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Catches it, and that's all. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. This one's going deep to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Notre Dame is up by six. And down he goes around the 16-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. That's a great tackle at the five. Number three makes the tackle at the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled right away. That brings him second and goal. Push by the line in a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he converts the extra point. It was a seven play, 64 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So the score now 13 0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. And he's taken down at the 50. Speed will get you noticed, but I guarantee you, it takes more than speed to succeed at this level or the next one. Gets out to around the 35. He fights forward to about the 30. Under pressure. Slings it to his fullback. 
and they'll get him in the backfield. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Notre Dame's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's second and ten. Ball in the 25. Makes the grab past the marker. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After, after review of the play, play the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field from their own 41-yard line. It's first down. Cut. Blue 78! Blue 78! Ah! Tackled for a loss. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. That makes it third, and seven. third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. And he throws it away. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Now he's scrambling. The Black Knights will use their first time out of the half from their own 24-yard line. Second down. Four yards there on the scramble. Let's go! Let's go! And he throws it away. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Tackle made at the 36. Notre Dame's really putting a hurting on him right now. Well, you wonder if it was a coach or a player who kind of lit the fire under this offense, but we've seen a completely different looking team, and they're executing at a much higher level. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. They 
makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Wants to throw outside. This one will fall incomplete. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 16-3, Notre Dame. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. you got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the one. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. They play tight coverage as well. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Completes it across the middle. Tackle made at about the 41. Throws it and it's tipped away. That makes it second and ten. From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He tackles him for a loss. Woo! 
Makes a grab and steps out right away. That makes it first and ten. ten. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. They'll bring him down at the 22. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet, sprinting on that field, and you're ready to go. First and 10, ball on the 22. He's on the run. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, it's third down. Gets it, he's in space. He goes out of bounds at the 17. The kick is up, and it's good. Army to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Quick toss. Nice grab on the play. At the 30. And he's level at the 26. one deep this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Notre Dame's coaches just got to be happy I'd love to coach a kid like this oh I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this and another great performance by him individually and for this offense there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game he's tackling around the 28 yard line Two-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Oh, 
excellent punt. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And he tackles him hard at the 25. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Takes a hand off. Tackled for a loss. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taking off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. That makes it second and ten. They'll get him in the backfield. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 34 yard line. He's under some heat. Tackle at about the 47 yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up second and 13. From midfield, it's second down. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Throws complete, he's hit right away. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. Notre Dame's lead is 17. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Taken down right around the 40. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick strike to the back and he drops it. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 40 yard line. Second down. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion. 
counter play. Take it down to the backfield. The misdirection wasn't fooling the defense at all. That shows some really solid preparation and discipline to stay with their assignments. And he hits him hard at the 31. That's a loss of eight yards. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He'll take it from the 18. He's taken down at the 20. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He zips one over to the right. It's intercepted. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this quarterback. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass. But it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. He makes his way out to about the 12. That makes it first and 10. He makes it to the nine. That's good for being three yards. That makes it second and six. Under pressure. Rose intercepts. No, he dropped it. From the nine yard line. It's third down. it left side throws to the receiver got it for the touchdown you've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync really fighting to create that touchdown well they're taking a look at this play upstairs but i think they're gonna have a hard time overturning this one this is a big review right here was it an incompletion or a touchdown After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. So they uphold the call on the play. Touchdown. After watching the replay, it was pretty apparent that this was an easy one to call. Great catch for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Notre Dame's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Throwing left. He goes up. Picked off. Right down at the 50-yard line. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line.
Just under three to go in regulation. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. a first down. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. Number 19 raises down at the 17-yard line. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Down. Picks up a yard. That was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. He'll get it again. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. Notre Dame staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Well, that's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.